we are in Boeing 777 and we'll be installing upper ECAS and first officer nav display inboard display display unit so all the display unit of this Boeing 777 is same part number only this lower ECAS you have to install it inverted okay rest all will be uh, the locking will be downside okay so this one it will be inverted the locking will be upside so uh, let me just give you a little description so this is our plug never touch the pins because of ESDS precaution this is for cooling so before we install we'll see the area is clean there is no FOD the the pins are okay it is not pushed back not banned anything now this one in Boeing they've installed one proximity switch this is for interlocking when our computer is fitted then only it will be operative the connection will be made okay so there is a proximity switch which the computer pushes it the display unit pushes it in inside now this has got two notches over here so that the display unit is installed properly and this is the keyway as per our part number this is configured so here this is our display unit this is the keyway and the connector this for ventilation and here is what I told you this thing will go in the railing over here okay this is for locking when we push our D, uh, display unit and when we push the handle, this handle, uh, there is a hook, I'll show you. This is the handle, locking handle. So, this thing over here, it will go in this notch and when we push it, when we push the locking handle, the display unit will go inside. This will pull it inside and then we have to lock it with normal Phillips, okay. So my friend will install it, all are okay, we'll spray little contact cleaner. So while installing we have to keep this handle in 90 degree position. Okay. So once it is fully in, we will push this handle and then we will lock this fastener over here. It will automatically pull itself inside. Okay. Okay. We'll install this display unit also. The same part number, configuration, everything is same.